Yo guys, M here, and welcome to the first planetary highlights. Now, I was fortunate enough to start my journey in a system of five planets, and this is Altair 1, a fairly cold and icy planet, although it actually turned out to have quite a bit of water, as well as creatures and plants, which was quite a surprise for such a fairly cold planet. I will admit it's not the coldest planet you will experience, so it is fairly tolerable, even with the lowest uh, equipment that you may have in your exosuit. But uh, it is an interesting planet nonetheless, and it has also got plenty of the normal resources that you may need to mine. And on to Altair 2. Now this was also another cold world. It was covered in powdered snow and it actually snowed quite a few times while I was there. But the planet itself does have quite a few caves so you can actually warm up while you're searching for lots of minerals. Sadly though, this particular planet didn't have any oceans. And on to Altair 3. Now this was a fairly green planet, I must admit. It was quite warm, it could be quite cold at night. It looked fairly icy in places and it had a very big lack of trees and other foliage actually on the planet. But it did have some interesting plants. It had quite a few creatures as well. It also had a very interesting day-night cycle where the whole planet would change colour quite dramatically from the green to the red and to the orange. And it uh, gave a completely different feel to this particular planet um, during those particular cycles and the oceans were very deep in places and there was a lot of very interesting things hidden down there so the oceans were probably the most interesting place to actually visit on this planet as most of the planet's surface was fairly barren and actually quite uh, icy and empty. So on to Altair 4. Now this was my birth planet. Oh yes, I was so fortunate to start my whole journey on such a warm, tropical, lush covered planet. There was lots of greenery, lots of plants, lots of trees, lots of creatures. The only thing this planet was really lacking in my opinion was some deep oceans. Other than that, this planet was pretty impressive. I was very happy to start here uh, while I was exploring those first few days and getting to grips with the mechanics of No Man's Sky. And finally, on to Altair 5. This again was another fairly tropical planet. Quite humid, it had plenty of greenery, lots of trees all over the place. It also had a very short day and night cycle, actually, which resulted in some very strange colours for very prolonged periods. But uh, a very interesting planet nonetheless. So that's it for the highlights this time, and I uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.